In our last video, we uncovered a Chinese communist secret at the Mama Dolce's food processing factory that had lain dormant for over 200 years. We got to the Mama Dolce food processing factory through Arlington Cemetery, but there is one other way out, and that is through the Falls Church metro station. The station itself is fairly typical of ruined metro stations in that capital wasteland. We kill a few ghouls, and we can exit by trudging across a bunch of garbage to the south. Here we find a small selection of chems in an Etotronic, and we can exit to Falls Church. As soon as we walk up the escalator, we see a man in power armor run for cover. He is under assault from super mutants, shooting at him from the blasted out windows of a nearby school. If we're feeling generous, we can assist the poor fellow. The paladin's not very grateful for our help. Move along, outsider. In this school, we find a Nuka Cola machine, a couple of ruined lockers, and some ruined school desks in the basement. We can climb to the top floors using some ruined staircases. We find a few chems in some of the nearby boxes on the ground, and we can take in this new area we've found by looking out some of the windows. We see a playground in the back for the kids who went to this school. But before heading any deeper into the ruin, if we head back to the Arlington Metro Station, we find a named Brotherhood of Steel Paladin walking around. This is Paladin Haas. Stranger, I thank you for your aid. We must press forward. If you are willing to aid us, you are welcome to join us. Now we can't tell this guy to buzz off. We're not interested, but he just walks away and we miss out on the quest. Alternatively, we can say, what's happening here? We were performing a training exercise with one of the initiates when we were cut off by the super mutants. We saw him flee into a building up ahead during the attack but before we could link up with him, we were pushed back. Now that we've cleared this area, we can press forward and attempt to recover the Initiate. I only pray that he is unharmed. Is the Initiate still alive? He's had enough training that he should know that when facing overwhelming odds, a brother's best recourse is to wait for reinforcements. I suspect that he is making a stand inside of that building, but an Initiate won't be able to stand for long against those mutants. What sort of exercise were you doing out here? Long range recon. We typically do them in areas that have already been swept and are thought to be clear. Night Church fell in the initial strike. The initiate was cut off and were forced to retreat. You invited me to join you, that's very kind, but what's in it for me? Typical. You wasteland dogs have no honor. Very well, I will pay you 100 caps for your aid. 100 caps? Okay, uh, how much is really in it for me? 100 caps is all I can offer you. Take it or leave it. Again, we can reject the poor fellow, in which case we miss out on the quest, or we can say, I've heard enough. Let's go get your man. Excellent. We will advance forward slowly until we make contact with the mutants and clear the area in front of the building. Once that space is under our control, we will hold position while you enter and recover the initiate. Then, you both should evac to the exterior. You will receive your payment when the initiate is returned to us alive. Let's move out. With that, the other unnamed paladin whom we fought with inside the school returns to his superior, and then they just stand here. He did say that he would move out. I assumed he was going to lead us somewhere, but instead, they're following us. So now we've got to figure out exactly where to go. Well, he said something about clearing the super mutants outside of a ruined office building. Then, I can go in and retrieve the initiate. Taking a look at our local map, we see the door to an office building right next to that playground we saw earlier. We must have already cleared the super mutants when we killed all of the ones in the school. So, heading on over, we see two doors, one on the side of the building and one on the western side with a big sign above it that says, Entrance. I guess we enter here. Double checking to make sure the paladin is with me, we can head on in. But now that we're inside, we don't see the paladins. Where did the Brotherhood go? Well, they did say something about clearing the outside and then sending us in to fetch the initiate, although they did follow us to the door of this office building. Oh well, I guess they decided to stay outside. 
Heading upstairs, we turn a corner. We see our eastern path blocked, so turning north, we move into a large office cubicle area. And here we find evidence of the previous fight that Paladin Haas told us about. On the ground, near a ruined desk, is the corpse of a Brotherhood of Steel initiate. We can take his power armor to repair our own, as well as his weapon and some microfusion cells on the ground. There are three clips of 556 ammunition on top of a nearby bookshelf, and then we can move clockwise to scour the room. Most of these cubicles are empty. We find a skeleton in one, and then a number of skeletons right next to this one. Three lying on the ground here, and one sitting in the chair. They appear to have been here for quite some time. There's a still functional terminal on this desk. I don't know what's happening. The sirens went off 20 minutes ago, and I hear something like thunder in the distance. We're not allowed to leave the building, and I can't see what's happening in the street. I'm scared. I think this might be it. Everything that we've been building up for, this might be the last thing I ever write. So, to whomever finds it, if I don't make it, tell my family that I love them. Elise Walton, Certified Public Accountant, General Accounting Office, Department of Research Subsidies. Well, Elise, I would, but sadly your family is long dead. These must be the skeletons of her co-workers. They must have died to the nuclear fallout just after the bombs dropped. On the ground, we find two super mutant corpses. These must be the remains of the fight that Paladin Haas told us about, and a Brotherhood of Steel initiate lying amongst two more pre-war corpses. Is this the initiate that Haas told us to fetch? If so, she's dead. Does this mean we failed? To move on, we can go through a big hole in the eastern wall, where we find some makeshift bedding set out, which we can use to heal on up really quickly. Then, to continue forward, we can open a door to the north, where we walk by another pre-war skeleton and round a corner. There's a door to the restroom to the east, booby-trapped with a tripwire. Looks like this tripwire was connected to a rigged shotgun stuffed into the trash can. We can disarm both of those for the experience, and then loot a first aid kit on the wall above it. But that's all that's in the bathroom, so down the stairs, we can continue by opening a door to Falls Church. This brings us to that side door that we saw earlier, and that completes the office building. And where's Paladin Haas? I didn't see them anywhere, and by this time it was growing dark. So waiting until morning, we can push forward in hopes of finding them. We see that the road went under a sky bridge connecting two plazas to the southwest. The street is lined with ruined cars, and super mutants man the walkways, giving us a wonderful opportunity to make short work of them with our Gauss rifle. <laughs> After clearing the super mutants, we can turn around and go north to see if there was anything we missed down the other side of this road before moving onward, and to see if we can find any sign of Paladin Haas. Here we find more super mutants hiding around a pre-war statue with four faces. <laughs> But this leads to a dead end, so turning around, we can walk up a rubble ramp to one of the elevated plazas attached to the sky bridge. Here, we finally find Paladin Haas and his companion, Brotherhood of Steel Paladin, but oh no, the other Paladin has died! It is possible to lose Paladin Haas here as well, in which case we fail this quest. So looks like I got this wrong. The office building we just explored was the wrong one. The two paladins were headed this way to get rid of these super mutants so that I could explore a different office building looking for the initiate. That's not confusing at all. Don't be so anxious, Lurk. Get our man, then you'll get your payday. Paladin Haas doesn't seem to be too terribly upset over the death of his paladin. This must be one important initiate if he's already sacrificed one paladin for him. Well, let's see if we can find this other office building. To the west and northwest, we find more train tracks. Looks like another metro station. West of here, we find a Pulowski preservation shelter, and inside a couple of ammo containers and some dirty water. Moving northeast, we find a door that leads to the Falls Church Mason District metro station. All right, so that's one way out of here. Let's bear that in mind for after we complete this quest. Continuing to the east-northeast, we find a bit of a picnic area right next to our pre-war Akupajo coffee shop. 
we find these dotting the capital wasteland looks like a regional coffee company similar to Slocum's Joe in the Commonwealth. But continuing this way just leads to that big four-faced statue we saw earlier. So instead, turning south, we can go up a rubble ramp on top of the entrance to this metro station. Here we just find a box with a stim pack and some red X inside. Back down on the train platform, we find a Nuka-Cola machine to the north and then a door to the Marigold metro station to the northwest. Okay, so two ways out of here. We have a lot of exploring to do. On a table just south of this point, we find a little base camp. There's a mattress here and big blood splatter on the ground, possibly used by mercenaries or talent company before the super mutants moved in. On the table, we find some 556 clips, some fragmentation mines, an assault rifle, and an ammo box under the table. But aside from those two exits, this is a dead end. No sign yet of the office building. This leaves us with one way to explore. We can finally go across the Sky Bridge, where we can loot the bodies of the super mutants we killed earlier with our Gauss rifle. The paladin is sticking with us this time, which is more annoying than anything considering his personality. Why don't you look where you're going? We find a couple of bus stations up here, next to cars stacked upon cars in this horrible ruin. And then sure enough, directly to the south, we find a big double door to an office building with a helpful sign above it, labeled Entrance. But heading inside, looks like Paladin Haas chose to stay behind. Well, I suppose that's his prerogative, he is paying us after all. We arrive in some sort of lobby, where we find one desk with nothing in it. We see one way forward to open a door to the northwest. And this leads us to a hallway where we see a red tricycle, and directly across the hallway from us is a door to a unisex bathroom. Oh! It was booby-trapped with some sort of Brahmin butt! I walked right over this one. Oh well, we can loot the first aid box above the sink, and that's about it for the bathroom. Heading back out to the hallway, we see a door to the right just across from the tricycle. Inside we see a lot of tin cans, but then we hear super mutants. <laughs> there you are. There's the skeleton of a woman lying on the ground next to a desk, and underneath it we find an easy locked safe. Inside we find a small assortment of goods. We can walk to the west and pass through the hole in the wall where we killed the super mutant. And I think this connects to a nearby room from a door in the hallway. Heading out and going around just to make sure, yeah. Sure enough, this leads to a big filing room with a bunch of containers, which connects to the room we just left through another hole in the wall. And just as we head through, we get attacked by more super mutants. Now that they're dead, we can loot the place. We can go from desk to desk, filing cabinet to filing cabinet, where we find caps and other assorted goods. Interestingly, we find a skeleton climbing over one of the cubicle dividers in here. The day the bombs dropped must have been a frantic day indeed. And there are a couple ways out of this room. We can leave through a western door, back out to the hallway we were at earlier. Peering around the corner, we see that this hallway turns east. But there is a door on the northeastern side of this room, which leads to that same hallway. All right, now we know our bearings. Now, there was one door we passed in the middle of this hallway to the north. And crouched down, cowering in fear, we find, at last, Initiate Peck. Thank God someone's come. You have to help me, please. So you're a representative of the Mighty Brotherhood? Please. You can mock me all you want. I don't care. Just get me out of here. Calm down, I'm here to help. Oh, thank God. Paladin Hoss sent you, didn't he? I knew he wouldn't leave me behind. When they attacked, we were cut off so quickly. My gun jammed, and I never even got a shot off. I couldn't do anything but hide. Your gun jammed? Can I take a look at it? Sure, I guess. Can you fix it? And if we have a high enough small gun skill, we can. Sure can. Here, just pull this back to clear the chamber. Wow. That's... that's easy. Now at least I can shoot back at those mutant bastards. Are you ready? Let's get out of here. I don't have all day. You'll get no argument from me. Now if we fail the small guns check, Initiate Peck will follow us, but he's a timid, fearful companion. He runs at the first sight of danger, but if we fix his gun for him, he'll actually fight back. But we find out that it's a moot point. Continuing down the hallway and rounding the corner, we reach a dead end, which means we've cleared this office building. And we already killed all the super mutants before we even met Initiate Peck. So, retracing our steps, we can head out the big double doors where we find Paladin Haas waiting for us. Hey. Good. 
He is safe. The Brotherhood are men of their word, and so here is your payment. Spend it well. Farewell, mercenary. May you find honor in your travels. At least the two of them seem fairly appreciative. You've saved my life. I am in your debt. You have our thanks, stranger. We could not have recovered our ward without your aid. Now, if, in our previous interaction with Paladin Haas, we did not ask about money, at this point, we would have gotten a big dose of positive karma. But since we asked for money, instead, we get the reward. And with that, we completely clear all of Falls Church, with the exception of L.O.B. Enterprises. L.O.B. Enterprises holds a pre-war secret that was only uncovered by the United States government the very day the bombs dropped. In tomorrow's episode, we will venture deep into L.O.B. Enterprises to uncover this mystery and put the guardians who have protected it for over 200 years to rest. I publish a new Fallout video six days a week on a wide range of topics spanning all of the games. If you want to make sure you don't miss tomorrow's episode, be sure to subscribe and to click that bell notification button. You can follow me on Twitter and Facebook to keep up to date with all Oxhorn news. And if you like what I do and you want to support me in a more personal way, consider becoming one of my patrons on Patreon. But more than anything, I'm just so glad you're here watching this video with me today. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow morning, bright and early, with a brand new video.